dirty boy. <laughs> Camping again. When was the last time you showered, Todd? About four and a half months ago. That's nothing. I'm on like year three. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is our first night camping in the new van. Super stoked. This has got to go, <laughs> obviously. Um, we got to figure out a way to insulate and pad this whole thing. Baby steps, baby steps. But because Ryan was here, we got a bed. We got a twin bed. And uh, I got to tell you, this thing's freaking great. Um, I feel like I got a ton of room. Ryan slept in here last night and said that I'm absolutely going to love it. And I'm not going to lie. He was right. This is great. We are up in the White Mountains, folks. Ryan's been up for a few days. I have been helping him make videos. We slammed carp yesterday with Fred. You guys have to go check out that video. I was reviewing my new waders, so I just wanted to uh, kind of get that out there. So make sure you guys go on over to Ryan's channel and check out all the crazy stuff we've been doing over the past few days. We are gonna wake up and try and do some fishing tomorrow that we don't normally do. We're gonna be waking up in the White Mountains and then we're gonna make some sort of day of things. I don't even know what to expect, what we're doing or anything like that. But uh, camping in the cars, Ryan and Becca are in Becca's truck. I'm camping alone in here tonight. Um, and I gotta say, after the past few days of uh, camping in the boat with Tyler and Ryan yesterday, camping outside uh, next to a fire with Fred. And tonight, it's gonna be nice to have my own little space and be able to kinda zen out and uh, get some much needed rest. So like I said, I'm really, really, really looking forward to waking up tomorrow here in the White Mountains. And, and I have no idea what the rest of the day has entailed for us, which I love. So let's get some rest and uh, wake up in one of the most beautiful parts of New England. Good morning, good morning, good morning. We are out here. It is freaking gorgeous. We fell asleep around like 9.30. It's about 7 something. I woke up and immediately had to take a dump. So we came to the closest little cutest little store and they have like some food and breakfast stuff and all this lovely shit so we're gonna go in and get a coffee get this day started i'm excited for some fishing today just seeing things around here i haven't been up to the white mountains in a couple years so stoked we made the last second decision to do this guys you got to make sure you go check out check out becca's video and check out ryan's video to see like all the stuff because I'm trying not to make the exact same videos as Ryan the whole time he's here, so I'm kind of doing things a little bit differently. Um, but I want to take you guys on this journey, so let's go. something degrees last night 39 40 41 or something like that but I did not once have to wake up and turn the van on for heat last night I only used the blankets that we got the bed obviously and all the like padding and insulation on top of the bed was plenty enough to keep me pretty toasty last night one more big puffy like duvet or something on top of this thing will be absolutely so solid when you sleep in your own bed you don't have views beautiful little creek down there. This egg sandwich is key. Huge shout out to the gas station. Good morning, America. How we doing? Let's go do some trout fishing. Uh, probably not gonna catch anything because we stink at trout fishing. But one can only hope, folks. One can only hope. Greg is here, Beck is here. They're both already out there. We're slacking, even though we've been up the longest. <sighs> I was not rigged and ready for trout at all. Beck is always ready for everything. She's savage. Let's see what we can do. Yeah. 
All right, camping spot, fishing. Didn't really turn out great. We are going. <laughs> we're going to. Uh, we're going to make it down to the next spot. See if we can't catch a few fish before we uh, take off, and maybe do a little bit of driving around the White Mountains. Ryan. Ryan wants to see what's up a little bit. I sure do. And then we out. Oh, what a beautiful morning. It's turning out to be a beautiful morning, folks. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Like, I'm in a t-shirt right now, and I woke up. I didn't wake up cold, but, like, I mean, it, it, it was. It was 42. It was cold. 40? It was definitely cold. 40 degrees? And now I'm in a t-shirt. I was cold last night, and now I'm, like, de-layered. I'm on one, one layer, literally. Ryan's getting naked. I woke up sweating. Hit That's the like how hot I got. If you like and then Ryan I got so naked. cold, because it was so cold last night. And now I'm here. <laughs> Cool place though. Yeah, It'd be sweet if uh, you just gotta get one fish. Yeah, I know. Ooh, at another spot. A and T. Here we come. Never been here before. Beck's never been here before. Just finding trails and stuff. This kid loves walking into the random woods everywhere I'll probably get stuck on something I uh, lose this lure I think I got another one in my pocket boy it did it get windy today is this what we're fishing How many bluegill and stuff up at this elevation is there? I don't know, man. It's like trout and smallies. Is Ryan like nearby? Mm. In the car still? This is really uh, shallow, kiddo. Got the juice right here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whoa. So we call a drop down. Right. I did it. Wow, that's cool.
Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what it is yet. Trout. 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 Trout! Yeah. Uh, yeah, probably. Rainbow. Okay, rainbow. Rainbow trout. Just came off the uh, hook, too. We're gonna be keeping him, so, uh... Oh, dude, he's so beautiful. Look at that pink. Are we kidding, guys? Huh. Yeah. Right? That's a beautiful trout, homie. <laughs> wow. So cool. We're going to eat him, huh? Yeah, I mean, he's six inches, and that's going to be beautiful to that's, eat. That's more than six, yeah. I'd probably say like seven, eight. Eight, yeah. So we're going to be taking this to uh, Chow. Let him out. Knocked him out. So. Made him this little deal here. So we can keep him sheltered from the sun. One hour later. Sweet, chop the head off. I'm gonna scale it a little bit and then uh, we're gonna get to cooking. Sweet. All right. Yeah, we've uh, rinsed her off, rinsed her out, scaled her, gutted her. We're gonna hit it with some uh, of Becca and I's favorite seasoning, the oldest oh, of days, slam and salmon. So and then uh, we're gonna hit it with some olive oil because Becca can't do butter. Why you want it up hot? Yeah, I want to get that skin crispy. Slightly, uh, slight bit of uh, new Oil real hot. I want this thing like sizzling as soon as I get it. All right, sweet baby girl. Leave me alone, whoever this is. Scott. Oh, I'll call it Scott later. You bitch, Scott. We could we could get him on the jet ski too. Going for stripers. Are you season the outside and the inside? Oh, you bet. Okay. Yeah, well, if you're a skin eater, which is like really good on trout, skin so. On the trout. So I love skin. I big skin girl like too. To wear people's skin. Yeah, yeah, it's one I of my mean, hobbies. That's basically, they go together hand in hand. Yeah. That's the lotion on its skin. Okay, ready? Yep. Smells pretty good. So I love the whole so much. Guys, the food is done. Um, it's super hot. Oh my god, it looks great on the camera. Holy crispies. Look at that. That really does look really good. <laughs> oh my goodness, get in there, Bob. Go ahead, rip a big piece off, dude. It literally tastes like chicken. <laughs> like, I know I've, I've, I've heard people say that, and like, that 
That tastes like fried chicken, bro. This is amazing, guys. The skin on this fish. You can hear it crunch. Yo, it's all about the skin, dude. It's all about the crispy skin, son. <laughs> Becca, get on this. This tail meat's so tender. Mm. It's literally like chicken on a bone. Mmm, chicken. <laughs> dude, it tastes delicious, bro. Let's mm -hmm. let Todd get his own bite. I'm going for the meat, bro. Some good meat right there. Ooh. Oh, that's hot. Oh boy, that, that skin is so nice and crispy. I don't want this up. Uh... Oh, oh my god. That's back up. Eating out of the back of the truck is amazing. What? Guy. Out of this fish. Dude, you cooked like phenomenal. It just falls right off the bone like that. Oh yeah. Uh, that, I, I, I kind of nailed that one. Wow. <laughs> Sometimes I cook things. This is honestly the best rainbow trout I've ever had in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, the rainbow trouts we get up there are stock, so like. Yeah, this was probably horrible. stock, dude. There's no wild. It's not the native. Rainbows, huh? It could be wild, but it's definitely not native. Yeah, it could be wild, but yeah. But not native. But like the cooler the water, the better the meat, man. Mm -hmm. That water was full. Yeah. We're also getting all that. That's good. I'm good. Our skin is perfect. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Take a big chunk, ski. Right there. Why are you forcing me, dude? I'm okay. <laughs> Take a big chunk, skis. <laughs> it's good. It's like Polly Shore over here. Really happy with the way this trout came out. Ryan said it was good, but he would rather eat uh, dicks. Yes. I'm on a diet. <laughs> Pretty good. Trout Krispies in the White Mountains, folks. Can't even, I don't even know if you can see that. But man. That just fly right down there. I might be in the tree. I, I never saw that. That was amazing. Oh my god, it just. Can't even, I don't even know if you can see that. But man. That just fly right down there. I might be in the tree. I never saw that. That was amazing. Oh my god, it just it fell right there. <laughs> Alright, well, I don't know what the rest of today's adventure has in store, but uh, come along with us. Three days later. Scotty! <laughs> oh, fucking Walpole, kids! What a Walpole guy! So, I had no idea that the end of this journey was gonna be here, uh, folks. Yep, yep, this is it. What happened? On the way to Rhode Island, from way on out, we got pulled over um, because the cops ran my plates and saw that my license had been revoked for not paying a ticket from two years ago in Massachusetts. And now we're like 600 and something dollars later. But she's back, folks. She's back in black. What do you say, Scotty? Scotty saved my life. He's the man. Uh, subscribe. Don't ever come to this place. Never. Uh, auto collision yourself. Uh, assured collision. Worst customer service ever. Oh, good lord. Have mercy. Scotty, we'll see you later. Everybody, catch you on the next one. Peace out.